Hello, carbon units. Do you want to see an example of when things just go a little bit too far? An idiot and Facebook Marketplace coming together in the best possible way, maybe the worst. Let's have a look at what we've got today. This absolute tower of death. Let's get into it. So, ostensibly, this is a Samsung Video Wash. I think that's how you say it. Karaoke unit, a laser karaoke unit, as you were. So you can see the laser wash branding at the bottom there. The only thing I can find about that is you can get video wash branded laser discs, karaoke laser discs, video CD players, and laser discs. So it looks like a catch all during the 90s for a uh, Samsung karaoke set. A subscription using digital media. So this consists of this large speaker at the bottom see the size of that bugger and then as we go up let's get in a little closer we've got a laser disc player and a tape deck with a built-in amplifier so there's a bespoke connector that connects the tape player to the speaker and actually the, the laser I'll show you this around the back in a bit but the laser disc is a bit of a dummy uh, this, it does actually have like casing and stuff and it can come out, but it can't operate on its own. If we have a look up here. So if you switch it to LDP, the playback and open buttons are here. And then you've got this unit along here to choose tracks from. Interestingly about this, this LDK 700, that is a Pioneer branded. Now, I don't think that's an add-on at all. It looks like Samsung's just licensed this bit of kit. That is a karaoke player that um, Pioneer used, but you can see, obviously, this is the original parts. Let's just turn it on now. So, <laughs> the tape player is actually quite good quality. Let's see what it come with. It come with Julian and Sandy, which I believe is a late 60s radio play um, with Kenneth Williams. Tested for in booking a holiday. Oh, well, would you like us to do something exciting for you in a cheap package? <laughs> well, yes, what would you recommend? Well, how about Joanne in the S of F? That's Les Pins. Boner, isn't it, Joanne? Oh, it's fine. Yes, yes. Where did you boon? <laughs> Okay, nice little freebie. Uh, <laughs> so the tape, the tape player is actually quite good quality. It's got some really interesting things, actually. So if I, I think this will work with this. Tell him. Yes, I if will. I play a disc. Just thinking of it, I mm. was sitting there, sipping a tiny drink. Here, you can muck about. Or just sporting yourself on the table clay. With the pitch. Obviously, these are karaoke features. And obviously, you've got options for bass, treble, uh, stuff to do with the, the uh, microphones. Now, when I got this, uh, I just couldn't resist it because it came with so much stuff. I knew that some of it was in a state of disrepair. So, um, when I got it, this player... Uh, would not open and I got it to open eventually, but now it doesn't even turn on so that is completely shot unfortunately But it looks like um, That essentially replaced it with the LD player up here So it come with this working CLD V202 So yeah, this entire unit isn't um, reliant on this working Obviously, you can use karaoke tapes. You can actually use any line in source. Um, so you're essentially just spitting the audio out of the laser disc player. And then using the karaoke features on here. 
obviously this has got all the usual karaoke features you've got level of you've got two mics uh echo balance on them see partner controls and then you've got various options over here So this does actually play discs fine. It, it does have a slight bother. You can play through something completely fine. But if you search for a late track, uh, something starts to stick. So you have to like gradually go through the tracks. So you can watch a movie fine. But if you want to pick a track like later down the line, this is intermittent. Sometimes it starts clicking. But yeah, pretty basic player other than that. We'll have a look around the back later on. So further adventures into 90s technology. This came with a JVC. XL SV22 video CD player. So video CDs, um, they're out maybe turn of the 90s. You can find them in popular, I say popular products. They're in stuff like the CDI. You could get add-on cards for the 3DO, Saturn, PlayStation to play video CDs or get standalone players like this. Obviously reasonably popular for karaoke. You can see this is a karaoke player. It's got the various mic inputs, etc. Track selectors. So the video CD player, uh, that was in a state of disrepair. I was told that um, it wasn't reading discs and it wasn't. What this machine does play, though, obviously, apart from video CDs, it plays CDs. And what we've got here is Absolute Legends. This is actually a CD plus graphics disc. So with a little bit of mucking about, a bit, little bit of lens cleaning. So here's the splash screen for the uh, VCD player. So yeah, we know it wasn't playing discs and um, I've actually got it to play discs, uh, but now it seems very intermittent. So I think this is gonna be a project for someone else. Yep, I think that's pretty shot for now. We can get it going, but that needs some TLC. But what really drew us in to the star of the show was this big bastard. So what we've got here is a 24 inch Samsung CRT with these rather large speakers on the side that say three way. Oh, look at this. And these top bits do move. Uh, what does it say up here? FST. Flat square tube. Uh, the guy was really excited about the fact that this is actually uh, multi-system. So you can switch between PAL and NTSC from the front here. And it's not just a monitor. It is actually a TV. It's got an RF input. We'll show you all that in a bit. And... Um, yeah, pretty damn big tube. The size of those speakers. And those are actually the speakers. We'll see how they connect in a sec. So we're around the back of the beast now. Right, first things first. So this is the tape player and amp. And you can see that it's got this speaker output. It's got this best spoke speaker output that connects to the big speaker at the bottom. And LDP. So it's got this sort of DIN connector that controls the laser displayer. So laser display is down here. Interestingly, it's got separate outputs for the digital and analog audio tracks. So typically you'd only see one and you'd choose between them. But I guess if you were, if this was in a karaoke environment, you'd be swapping between the, the, uh, plugs if you just had one so it connects to two and in fact on the back of the amp it's got digital in analog in 
It's got a line out for if you need a basic line in. But also it is a uh, switching power supply. So the LD player has got an American style connector and uh, is powered by this. Obviously you could plug this into the wall, uh, probably with a, a step down or a Euro adapter of some sort. But yeah, this can power other devices, interestingly. So going up is the laser display. You see you've got a SCAR in the SCAR out. You've got some auxiliary outputs, standard composite video, and then the uh, audio outputs. And that's it, pretty basic player. If you really want to see what's on the VCD player, it's just got a basic left and right audio and composite video. So if I just take this out of the back of the screen, here's the back of the screen. So bizarrely for a device market in Europe, no RGB, not even S video outputs. So let's unplug these for a sec. Let's have a look at the back here. If you can see this, Samsung model CZ 5915Z. Can't find a single bit of information in the world about this. 50, 60 Hertz, PAL Seacam NTSC, made in Korea. We know Samsung's a Korean brand. And they did have CRTs out in the UK. One of my first bedroom TV as a kid, when I was about 11 years old in the early 90s, was a Samsung. Very similar design to this, but much, much smaller. This is a 24, that was like a 14. But yeah, look here. So, we've got a composite video in, we've got an audio in, a composite video out, and the audio out, interestingly enough. So, I've gone to a crazy angle, forgive the darkness. This audio in, actually uses a breakout cable like this for your stereo and over that one connector you actually get a stereo sound out of the speakers what an odd setup why not just have standard audio ins on a device saving space i don't know and the speakers connect like this and that goes straight to standard speaker terminals absolutely bizarre and this thing was a hundred quid and the guy delivered it and it come with absolutely shed load of things. Uh, one of which was a bartender's cocktail book, loads of video CD karaoke's, loads of laser karaoke. Reams of that, obviously microphones down there, loads more. The laser karaoke, some lace this stuff. Let's keep that out. Rotted to death, but I didn't actually have that. Barely watchable now, it's completely destroyed, but that was a nice keepsake. I didn't know that was gonna be in there. The status quo, excellent. Some Japanese, uh, who are these by? Toei. And a really old array of hits on these lace disc karaoke discs. This is crazy, this thing. So this isn't worth any money, but it's a fucking glorious box set. I mean, I could guess, I could give two fucking left shits about Shirley Bassey. No disrespect whatsoever. But it comes with this like catalog pull out and it's a six disc set. LPs, LPs. Obviously a big Shirley Bassey fan. What's this other stuff we got? Don't know. It, this one looks actually looks quite interesting. Herb Albert. This is another six disc set. I think he's. Uh, I think this is jazz. Some description. He might be a trumpeter, maybe something like that. A lot of LPs. That's Shawadi Wadi. Bob Streisand. Dion Warwick. Uh, King Crimson, that was, I thought it was going to be quite exciting, but it's not got King Crimson in there. It's got like uh, some sort of knockoff of Are You Experienced, Jimi Hendrix, like other people doing it. Uh, shame this hasn't got this. Cheers, Kenny Ball and his jazz men. Blah, blah, blah. Dr. Hook, that's quite interesting. I thought it might be signed, but I think that's just someone's scribble. Yeah, I don't know who she is. Not too bad. Private dancer Tina Turner. Keep that probably. And then uh, three degrees. So let's have a look at the lasers in action.
so there's a little laser karaoke. I'm sure what we want to see is gaming. So here we've got a little Super Famicom. Pardon lines going down the screen as always. That's just the refresh rate. So this is building this. This is using the speakers on the TV at the minute. Can be a little temperamental with the volume. Sometimes the volume's way too high. I think the ports just needed a good clean out. I think that the amp in the built into the TV needed a good run in, but now it's functioning okay. The tube's a little bright. It might it might do with a recap, but then again, we are dealing with composite video here. So you know, and for that, it's actually not too bad. Obviously, we've got a lot of light in the background as well. And some classic one-handed gameplay. <laughs> you get the point. <laughs> Let's just get to the excellent music. And there's like a wide mode on here, I think, as well. Those composite artifacts. And now we've changed to the uh, karaoke speaker down here. Really loves a bit of bass. And of course you can change everything on the fly here. You can muck about with that pitch again. So yeah, what a mental purchase. I don't know what we're going to keep of this, if anything. Certainly, I think this is for the, the pile. I think that's got to go. Don't really have need for another laser disc player. That is shot. But the tape player is pretty good quality. And I, I quite like some of the features on there. And I, I don't mind a little bit of karaoke. As for the screen, it is a big bastard. And I know it's composite only, but I like the big size of it. And those speakers, we will see. Watch this space. So until next time, stay rad. Sexy for your party, no way I'm disco dancing. I'm a model, you know what I mean, and I do my little turn on the catwalk. <laughs>